أعزائي المشاهدين نقدم هذا البرنامج من MEA TV تحية مقدم هذا البرنامج أنا اسمي وليد جمو المستشار النفسي وخبير في علاج الإدمان على الكحول والمخدرات في المجلس العربي الأمريكي والكلداني تأسس المجلس العربي الأمريكي والكلداني سنة 1979 برئاسة الدكتورة هيفا فخوري من مكتب صغير واحد إلى حوالي 40 مكتب وهو منظمة اجتماعية إنسانية نقدم فيها خدمات متنوعة من تعليم اللغة الإنجليزية خدمات الصحة النفسية خدمات الترجمة والتوظيف والتدريب المهني البرامج التعليمية والرياضية للشباب والشابات التوعية وورشات العمل الاجتماعية خدمات الصحة العامة برنامج التغذية الويك بروجرام خدمات مكافحة التدخين والكحول والمخدرات وخدمات كثيرة تقدم في المواقع الجغرافية من مقاطعة وين وأوكلند ومكوم زوروا موقعنا الخاص للتعرف على كل هذه الخدمات على www.myacc.org ولأي سؤال أو استفسار الرجاء الاتصال بسيد وليد جمو في المجلس العربي الأمريكي والكلداني على 248-559-1990 تتوفر لدى المجلس العربي الكلد... العربي الامريكي والكلداني عده وظائف في برامج الصحه النفسيه، نحن بحاجه الى موظفين يتكلمون اللغه العربيه والكلدانيه من حمله الماجستير في علم النفس مع خبره سنتين ومرخصين من قبل ولايه ميشيغان لمزاوله مهنتهم من قبل هذه الدوائر النفسيه. لتقديم طلباتكم الرجاء زيارة موقعنا حتى تتعرفوا على تفاصيل طلبات هذا العمل والموقع هو myacc.org myacc.org أو الاتصال بسيد وليد جمو على 248-559-1990 وفي هذا اليوم اخترنا لكم برنامج هام جداً وأريد من العوائل أن يحضروا أولادهم لأنه في بداية النصف الثاني من هذا البرنامج سنتكلم عن النيكوتين وسنتكلم عن التدخين وسنتكلم عن الأرجيلة تأثيرها على الرئتين تأثيرها على الرئات وسنعرض لكم الرئة السليمة وأيضا الرئة غير السليمة التي هي تحت تأثير التدخين الرجاء أن تكونوا معنا في هذا البرنامج لأنه برنامج هام ويساعد في فهم بعض الحقائق الجسدية بالنسبة لتأثير التبغ أو الأرجيلة وتأثير السلبي على الصحة العامة Today we have with us three ladies from different organizations uh, and a uh, part of coalition, yes. actually. And uh, I would like to uh, just basically welcome them on behalf of ACC, the Arab American and Chaldean Council. And we truly appreciate your time with us today because I know you have valuable information. And we are going, the purpose of this uh, uh, program is actually to educate about the tobacco, hookah, and its negative impact on health especially the youth, uh, nicotine and its very harmful effect on the lungs. And we are going to do, our guests are going to show us and put a demonstration or a, a display on the smoke lung to show our viewers healthy lungs and not the so healthy lung also uh, due to smoking and nicotine impact on the lungs. Uh, I would like to welcome all of you. Uh, أماندا هون مديرة المشروع والحاصلة على درجة الماجستير في الصحة العامة وأيضا نائبة رئيس ائتلاف ديترويت وين وأوكلاند للتبغ She is the vice chair of the Detroit Wayne and Oakland Tobacco Free Coalition أماندا هون she is the project manager and she holds a master in public health Welcome أماندا and then we have also Adriana Thomas she is also uh, holding a master in public health. 
She's a member of the Detroit Wayne and Oakland Tobacco Free Coalition. She's a community educator, com uh, educator community education and volunteer services at the Carmanas uh, Cancer Institute. Uh, and I'm sorry, you are from uh, Henry Ford. Correct. Yes. <laughs> and uh, also we have Diane yes. Townsell. Uh, she also holds a Master of Social Work, uh, Chair of the Detroit Wayne and Oakland County Tobacco Free Coalition, mm -hmm. Community Health Educator, uh, Cancer, uh, cancer Clinic, Clinical Trial Office at Beaumont uh, Hospital, the Royal Oak part of it. So we would like to just make this very informal as much mm -hmm. as possible and share with our uh, viewers some of the uh, dynamics of uh, smoking and smoking and its impact on health. Amanda, I, I don't know if, I, if you want to take a shot at this, but uh, before we came here, we talked about uh, the uh, uh, impact of smoking. Could you give us some information on just what you have on your heart and your <coughs> mind to share with our viewers? Sure. Well, the thing about smoking is that all of the toxins in smoke that people breathe in go to all different parts of the body. Yes. So, you know, most people know that smoking causes lung cancer. Um, they often can tell you that it causes heart disease, but they don't realize that it also causes cancers elsewhere in the body. Uh, it relates to um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, um, chronic bronchitis, and uh, all sorts of problems like uh, macular degeneration that can cause blindness. Uh, it relates to fertility problems. It relates to all kinds of issues that people may not think of when they think, oh, well, smoking is bad for you. They kind of think of the, the lung and heart effects, but not so much um, all the systemic things that happen um, you know, to your peripheral blood vessels or the effects that it has on diabetes mm. side effects. Yes. So there's just all kinds of effects that, you know, uh, people may not think of uh, right away when they hear about smoking and health. Uh, tell us a little bit, uh, Adriana, about the, the, the program, the tobacco cessation and those kinds of issues that you uh, have as available for people to uh, reach out and if they want to, you know, stop smoking. Okay, great. Um, we, we, our program now at Carmanas is currently suspended, so we are referring our patients to Henry Ford. Okay. Um, and they have a great program there um, to assist with that. And Amanda can probably touch more on their program um, versus, you know, me talking about the one we don't have right now. <laughs> um, but I can say I go out to the schools and talk to a lot of the children about the hazards of tobacco. And one of the things... So you actually take the prevention side and, and then you basically communicate that through children, uh, to, to the children. Yes. Um, one of the things I focus on is um, giving the kids some information about, um, you know, 90% of adults started smoking when they were kids. When I say kids under the age of 18, mm. um, I'm sure many of them didn't expect to continue smoking 10, 20, 30, and 40 years later. Um, so I teach the kids positive reinforcement um, when they are encouraging their family members to quit smoking. Great, mm -hmm. great. Thank you so much. And that's why the coalition is so strong, actually, uh, is that you guys uh, share with each other that's information, right. you coordinate and collaborate. And basically, you are in the community trying to reach out and share some facts about this. Uh, sometimes, uh, especially when it comes to uh, the argile or the hookah. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about uh, this. Maybe Amanda can share or uh, Adriana. And then we'll come back to you, yes. DNA, to tell us a little bit more about your That's role in, in all of this. Yeah. Well, I think that sometimes people don't realize that not only is there typically tobacco in hookah in, in the, um, the cake that goes on top. Yes. Uh, but there is quite a lot of, a lot of tobacco. Um, it's, it's a large amount that people are exposed to if they're in a one hour session. You know, Adriana was just mentioning to us that's the equivalent of a hundred cigarettes um, that, people, that people may be taking in. in terms so of every the smoke. 45 minutes mm -hmm. that we have smoking the ergile, that's what they call it in Arabic, or the hookah, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the pipe, in, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Then every four 45 minutes, it's equal to what? It's equivalent to smoking 100 cigarettes. Please look them up <laughs> in the eye here <laughs> yes. and tell them uh, it's 
this fact, please. Yes, that is the that is the fact. Uh, a forty-five minute to one hour session of hookah is equivalent to smoking one hundred cigarettes. So it's honestly you you inhale more smoke um, smoking hookah than you actually do smoking cigarettes. Mm -hmm. You're exposed to more smoke that way as well. So they're they're really both of them are not safe. Mm -hmm. Neither one is. Neither safe. one is is Neither very one safe. Is safe. Diana, tell us a little bit about your role and what you would like to share with, with our viewers uh, at the present time. Yes, so our coalition is the Detroit Wayne Oakland Tobacco Free Coalition, and we provide resources to our community about, um, about being tobacco free. Uh, we work, we have many different partners. We have different health systems that serve, and we all work together. So when Adriana said that, uh, you know, they refer to Henry Ford, you know, we all work together to make sure that uh, we're preventing tobacco use and so that our students, you know, so that they don't even begin smoking. Um, and we were actually, we were gifted a generous donation through the American Lung Association um, so that we could have a, so that we can strengthen our partnership with the ACC, which we're very excited about. So during their food pantry, we go and we do an outreach um, during uh, probably quarterly, we were able to do a year long partnership with them where we're able to uh, provide resources to the individuals that are served in that community. So we're very grateful for that uh, partnership and we're excited about what's to come. Actually, this is where I uh, met Adriana there, yes. and uh, she was putting a display which we are <laughs> going to share with our viewers. Yes, it's so great. if if you are going to switch the channel right now, don't switch it because <laughs> something we are just doing appetizers of uh, sharing with you about the impact of of nicotine on health in general, not just on the the smoker but also on the secondhand smoker too. Uh, so we're, for the second part of it, we are going to show you something mm, you and your kids are, uh, I, I would encourage you to watch this because yes. this is going to be uh, more than just words can describe regarding the impact of nicotine and smoke on the lungs. Uh, I just want to also ask another question and you can, anyone can jump in at this point. They're, you know, they're advertising about the jewel. I don't know what's the, the this jewel is not a it's not a uh, a nice uh, piece of jewelry that we wear it. Uh, <laughs> no. I guess it, they, they, they're saying that uh, you can get rid of the smoke, you can get rid of the order of the smoke. Or uh, uh, tell us a little bit about this e-smoking and and mm -hmm. vaping and and people think like you know I'm going from one addiction to another addiction mm -hmm. to another addiction. Right. What's going on? Well, the thing about uh, Juul and similar products, they're what we put in the category of electronic nicotine delivery devices. And uh, just recently, the, the big news this past week has been that the FDA is going to clamp down on the kinds of flavors that can be included in them. But to tell you a little bit about the device itself, it essentially heats a liquid yes. that has nicotine and flavors in it and it vaporizes that into an aerosol that people breathe in to get the nicotine hit, um, sort of similar to how you would inhale on a cigarette. Um, and it's really, the main things about it that I find concerning are that it's not proven to be safe and effective. Yes. The way that tobacco treatment medications that are approved by the Food and Drug Administration are. They've had to go through clinical trials and do things mm -hmm. to to prove that they help people quit smoking and that they're safe for people to use. And these devices have not at this point. So, um, you know, for example, the flavorings that are used in them to attract people to want to use them are approved by the FDA for ingestion. So if they're put in foods and you eat them, they're safe to eat. But that doesn't mean they're safe to breathe into your lungs. Yes. And that's kind of an important difference that, that people and don't understand. And this is what we're going to show how that is impacting the lungs later on uh, the second segment of, of the this program and i want to point out that with the e-cigarettes and the vaping we don't have long-term research on the long-term effects of what it does to yeah. you one of the things that i stress we had that same problem with cigarettes absolutely okay? there was a point in time early on were early on that they were accepted everywhere and then we started to see um people dying um people with diseases yes. um 
And then we kind of made a connection there that they were related How to cigarettes. How many chemicals are there in the cigarettes or the nicotine? There's over 600 chemicals uh, in a cigarette. 600 ingredients, I'm sorry. Ingredients. In 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 and when that cigarette is being lit and smoked, there's over 7,000 chemicals being exposed. Wow. Um, so essentially, if you are vaping, you are a test subject for us right now for us to be able to tell you the long-term effects. Um, like I said, with cigarettes, we, we started to see that people were, you know, starting to die, and we were able to make that connection. We aren't making a connection now because, like I said, we don't know the long-term effects. People have been, been doing it long enough for us to definitively say this will cause you to have cancer or it will cause heart disease. We don't know that for, cer for certain right now. But if you're vaping, you are our test subject. Mm. essentially. Okay. Tell us a little bit about secondhand smokers. What's, what's going on with this? Because I know there's a lot of Middle Eastern families that, that actually smoke and, and stay in the house with kids or mm -hmm. even infants mm -hmm. and, and babies. And, so and non-smoking non spouses um, of smokers have a 30% greater risk of developing cancer. Lung That's cancer. the person who is not smoking, the who is not, not taking the cigarette, not putting it in their mouth, but really s sort of like uh, s sniffing it from sec secondhand smokers. Yes. So, like I give my 30%. 30%. I give my kids an example. If your dad's a smoker and your mom's not, your mom has a 30% greater risk of developing lung cancer. People, we need to look at uh, the facts and we need to understand the facts and we need to make decisions. Uh, nobody's forcing anything down your throat, but these are the statistics. These are, these are the facts. Maybe if you can share some stats with us uh, about the death maybe from smoking or... I, I hear it. It's, it's thousands and thousands related to, uh, basically, due to smoking. That is true. It, we're at close to uh, 500,000 deaths in the U.S. per year that relate to either direct smoking or secondhand smoke. Um, as Adriana was saying, there's really no safe level of exposure to tobacco smoke, and that's part of why we have a state smoke-free workplace law yes. that protects people working in, you know, So at in the United States, there is 500,000, half a million, mm -hmm. related death due to smoking. About alf wahad, nus million, half a million. People, half a million, listen to this. I'm asking you to really, not just to listen, but to really understand and take it to heart and take it to your mind. This is a, a crazy stat. This is serious stuff, folks. What's happening with the youth? Because I know smoking sometimes, like, I want to fit in. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my friends are smoking. The peer pressure are there. It's, you know, it's just a cigarette. What's going on? So I think that one, one of the things that I realized is that smoking wasn't cool, right, when I was growing up. So we didn't want to smoke cigarettes anymore because we learned about what the harms were, what the harm was, and, and what it did. And now we hear that it's reverting back to what it was, whereas children in middle school are smoking again and they're using the vaping and they're using Middle the school six, seven, and eight yes. get starting at six? Yes, absolutely. So we, that's why we work together as a coalition to prevent that. So we work in schools and we work in uh, school districts and, and different communities and organizations so that we can bring that information uh, so that we can talk about the harm and the risks that are associated with smoking young and then continuing on, this, on that journey. You know, one of the purpose of us uh, coming here and talking about this is to develop a bigger c collaboration effort. Yes. Uh, include the parents and, and yes. the, their responsibility. Include the every uh, uh, person on, on the face of the earth, pretty mm -hmm. much, to share those kinds of information because really it's harmful. Uh, I mean, there are two ways, folks. Yeah, yeah, أو إنه بنسمع الحقائق هاي الحقائق بنأخذها to heart نأخذها للقلب حتى نستطيع أن نتعامل معها ونقرر to make decisions to save 
not only our family m members, but, but those, the community and, and the community we live in uh, and the community at large too. I really cannot thank you enough. And I know if we are going to ask so many questions, one question that now we are having the legalization of marijuana. <laughs> And I know that alcohol and, uh, and, and tobacco, sort of the, the gateway to a lot of harder drugs. Could you talk a little bit about that gateway concept? What, what is it? Well, I think that it's a little more typical for tobacco itself to be more of a gateway to other types of, of drug use. I think we also see that people who tend to seek out something like tobacco are also likely to seek out other types of stimulation that yes. are similar to kind of, you know, some, in some cases uh, they're looking to, to mitigate the signs of a mental health concern um, or they believe it relieves stress and pretty soon the only stress that it's relieving is the withdrawal symptoms and the addiction. Yes. So it, it, it stops being helpful after a while and starts just being an addiction that you're feeding over time. Yeah, it's like you take that little cigarettes at the beginning or whatever, and you take it, and then the cigarette is going to take you. Mm. Yes. And the cigarette is going to control you. Exactly. Yes. As if, and that's part of the addiction where we have no control over it. It's, it's a disease. And we see it more with, um, with minorities and, yes. and low-income communities. And that's, that's the areas that we want to serve. And we want to make sure that they're getting the resources to decrease those health disparities um, that exist right now. I want to thank you uh, because I can't wait to see the next segment. Because yes. I really think this is going to be uh, a, a place where people are with their kids. جيبوا الأولاد تعالوا انتوا احضروا على أساس تشوفوا بعينكوا شو ال الرئة السليمة والرئة الغير سليمة بسبب التدخين بسبب النيكوتين بسبب الأرجيلة وبسبب شو تأثيره على الصحة بشكل عام والأمراض اللي قاعدة تحصل من وراء من من وراء التبغ تأثيرها السلبي على على الصحة بشكل عام Amanda thank you for sharing that information from Henry Ford and Adriana thank you so much again from the Carmanos Institute DNA Council, also from uh, Beaumont, yes. a beautiful coalition, uh, a, a picture that we need to follow uh, with ACC, along with ACC, with Ma'al Majlis al Arab al Amriki wal Kildani, Hada al Etilaf, or Hada al Ta'awun, Hatta Nasati, and Nada al Nukat ala al Huruf. Fasil, when I would back Ma'akum Bada Khalil, Hatta Nara al العرض الذي سيقومون فيه بالنسبة ليبين لنا الرئة السليمة والرئة غير السليمة بسبب التدخين والنيكوتين أعزائي المشاهدين نعود من منبر MEA TV لمتابعة حلقة تأثير التبغ والتدخين على الصحة العامة وفي هذه الحلقة من الجزء الثاني نبين لكم تأثير النيكوتين على الرئتين. I would like to come back again to the second segment of our program so that we can share with you the actual impact of nicotine on the lungs. And we have these ladies who are doing such a great job in the community, reaching out with the message of tobacco cessation and prevention and uh, the programs that we have available uh, for you uh, in the community if you need to reach out and uh, uh, actually you can call me at the ACC 248-559-1990 and I can hook you up with these programs. Uh, please uh, give us a little bit of an information. What is this jar here? Okay, so with us today we have our tar jar, and this is the amount of tar that passes through your lungs if you smoked a half a pack of cigarettes for one year. Um, so this is a half a pack of cigarettes for one year. Look, look, people, في tar الموجود هذا اللي هو الزفتة. إحنا بنسميه. I think this is called اللي بحطوها مع الزفتة. So هذا موجود في في الرئتين في 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 جسم الإنسان إذا دخنت half a pack of cigarettes. For a year. Wow. For one Look year. Look at it. Look <laughs> at it. Look at it, guys. 
Ladies, uh, look at this. Okay? And uh, tell us what's, what's with, the, with the teeth that we have here. Okay, so we call this guy here, <laughs> or this gal, uh, <laughs> Mr. or Mrs. Gross Mouth. Um, and this is just how bad your mouth can actually get just from smoking cigarettes. Um, as you can see, the teeth are yellow and stained. Um, when we open the mouth here, there are missing teeth. Um, there are mouth sores. Um, there is a sore here as well, and there's also a tumor in here. Um, I know we didn't cover um, the smokeless tobacco, but the smokeless tobacco causes oral cancers, which can lead to mouth sores, bad breath, um, and just bad teeth. Is this how you want to look in front of your kids? Is this really what you want to look in your pictures, family pictures, when you get your kids married, and you want to pose for pictures? Is this really what you want? Uh, I'm just challenging you. These are facts, folks. These are facts, and we want to pay attention to these kinds of uh, truths that we are sharing with you today. Uh, I know this is just, you know, the tar and the mouth, and now we come to the lungs. To the lungs. Explain to us what do we have here. Okay, so with us we have our uh, real lungs. They are real pigs' lungs, not humans. Um, and no, the pig was not a smoker. That's the number one question that I get. Um, the darker lungs were just dyed and manipulated to give us that illusion that if the pig or the person was a smoker, this is how bad your lungs could look. Um, some of the obvious... After how many years of smoking? Um, I can't give you an exact number on the years of smoking, um, but I would assume that that was pretty progressed. So, Like uh, smoking... More than half a pack. More than half a pack. A probably. pack a day for many, many years. Many years, yes. Um, but it doesn't matter how long you smoke. Um, the thing is, when you do quit smoking, your lungs do have the opportunity to regain some of the health. Say that again, please, because I want our viewers to, to hear that. The so if they quit, they can regenerate or what? As soon as 20 minutes in, as soon as 20 minutes can... Um, to have some immediate effects on your body. Um, so that's the good thing. When you quit smoking, your lungs do have an opportunity to regain some of the health um, that you were facing while you were a smoker. Um, after 15 years, I believe it's about 15, your lung cancer and your heart disease risk go down to almost that of a non-smoker. So wow. it's very important. And there are resources out there for you. Um, there's a quit line that you could call over the phone support where you don't have to leave your couch or your home. Um, if you call 1-800-QUIT-NOW, um, that is our quit line in Michigan, you would be given support over the phone. يعني هذا الخط اللي أنت تقدر تتصل فيه 1-800-QUIT-NOW بتقدر تتصل في هذا الخط وبيقدموا لك خدمات عن كيفية التوقف عن التدخين. Go ahead, continue please with your display here. Yeah, so I just want to point out some of the obvious things that we can see. The color of the lungs. These are very pink and very healthy. Um, these are obviously very dark and very damaged. Um, one of the things that I will say is when you quit, I don't think your lungs will go back from uh, black to pink, but that health will regain. Um, here, we're operating at about 100%. So if you're someone who likes or if your kids like to play sports, they would need to be operating, their lungs would need to be operating at 100%, not less than 50. Um, here, you can barely run or walk to the car. Um, so that's something that's very important that kids need to know uh, when they are thinking about or considering smoking. Um, something as simple as riding your bike or um, running or playing soccer or any kind or of sport. Or even sports. getting up the, to the steps. Up even the getting up and down the stairs. It's important to be breathing at 100%. Our lungs already have black spots on them from environmental pollution, things that we cannot control. Um, so you don't want to add anything more or any other damage by smoking. So it's very important that um, if you are a smoker, you do seek out help. Um, and if you are someone who has never smoked, it's something that you should never, ever do. Uh, I really can't thank you enough uh, for this time that we've spent together sharing and collaborating to share the information uh, with our viewers. And I know for a fact uh, that the MEA TV will put this between two to three times a week, and it will be watched by many, many, many viewers. Uh, when you have the program on, Please uh, share it with your kids and talk about it with yes. your kids. 
uh, uh, try to communicate so we can at least develop a dialogue about the facts so that when we have more information we can make uh, the, the healthiest decisions in our lives. Uh, again, on behalf of ACC, the Arab American Chaldean Council, Adriana, thank you so much. Uh, 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 from uh, uh, the uh, Carmanos Institute and Amanda, Amanda Holm from uh, Henry Ford, and then we have DNA <laughs> Council. I love the word DNA, it's a different <laughs> one. Uh, uh, from the uh, Beaumont Hospital. Uh, we thank you for watching and Nishkurku ala Hassan Mushahidatku li hada al Burnamij. I also want to uh, thank the MEA staff, uh, Sultan and Ray for their putting and preparing this for us to be available uh, for our viewers. Bi ismin majlis al-Arabi al-Amriki wal-Kildani ila liqa fi halqatin qadina.